Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to use the absolute cell reference in a formula. So the first thing you want to do in this case is establish which cell you want to make the absolute cell. An absolute cell is a cell that is not changed when you copy a formula down uh, when using your when using different functions or formula in Microsoft Excel. So in this case uh, we're gonna make so we have a simple scenario here shopping list and we're gonna make this um, tax that we have here of 10 percent that we're gonna apply to some items here on, in our shopping list we're gonna make this cell the absolute cell reference so we're gonna make B2 absolute cell reference in this formula we want to calculate the tax amount which uh, will be the percentage here which is 10 percent applied to the subtotal so we will have equal sign first uh, followed by the we're applying this so we're saying here that this is D5 that's the first item we have there D5 and this will be multiplied by the tax amount which is the, the tax percentage sorry which is 10 percent and in order to make this cell absolute we'll have to use a dollar sign here before the column heading and a dollar sign before the row heading as well so we'll have that in press the enter key we'll notice that we have the value there for uh, the first item that is milk all right so I'm going to copy this down using your fill handle here so I will just click and drag down but what you notice is that while the the reference for the subtotal changes okay notice as we go down here the reference for the tax doesn't change it's the same right so that's in essence how your absolute cell reference works so what we have for our subtotal in terms of the the values they change as we go along based on the cell that is relative or adjacent to uh, the cell that we're, we have our formula in however you notice that the the cell containing the percentage for tax remains the same because we have used a dollar sign before the column and the dollar sign before the row as well to stipulate that it should not be changed when we copy our formula down. So this is it for this tutorial on absolute cell reference and how we use that in Microsoft Excel. Hopefully this has been meaningful to you. Please remember to subscribe and also to like um, video and in addition to that make a comment as well. Thank you.